Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and as we play through this game, as we learn more about certain logistics equipped on certain characters, we find out that we actually get a lot of extra buffs that actually increase our damage tenfold, and today is going to be no exception to the rule. We're actually going to be highlighting this logistics set that's actually in the shop, this one right here, the Navigator Squad, because this set actually increases your active skill damage by 24%, which is very, very important for how this set actually works, and then it actually, after applying control effect to the target, Damage taken by target increases by 14% for 10 seconds, which is a nice duration for this buff. And getting an increase by damage by 14% is massive. Now, the caveat to this set is that you have to have characters that have control built into their support skill in order for this set to actually proc in order for it to actually work and the other caveat to the set is that you actually need 300 of these items right here in order to buy the set and the way to do that is you would come into dispatch go into underground purge and this is where you can actually farm for these materials now whenever you're on medium you can actually farm 360 of these if you can max out all of these whenever you're on low which i feel where a lot of players are actually going to be at this point in the game you're going to get about 200 110 of these so it's going to take you a minimum of a month because this resets every two weeks in order to buy those three logistics now currently i wouldn't recommend you guys buying those logistics maybe wait and see what happens in another 10 days because i'm going to be testing other sets in there to see what kind of difference they have compared to the sets that we can farm for free in the game other than the sets that are actually in this shop but this set is actually quite op and it's actually quite insane on a specific character hint 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 good old four star acacia now there are currently six characters in the game that actually have control effect life is actually one of them honor support skill now this is a character that i feel like a lot of players are really going to use as a damage dealer so i don't think it's an optimal set for her at all but it can be used her support does freeze it's actually quite godly but it doesn't always freeze and sometimes what happens is whenever you have the set equipped on her it doesn't work against specific bosses and that's going to be a common trend amongst a lot of characters that have the control effect finny here also has the control effect however you need to be in close range to use this thing and it can be useful don't get me wrong guys but against bosses that you're able to get in close range too and it's obviously going to depend on the weapon that you're using also the four star freesia also has control now this is really really good for thermal characters however you're going to find that there's another set that probably would be more useful on freesia whereas you could use the navigator squad on another character the navigator squad just doesn't seem to be after all the testing that i've done really optimal on a lot of these characters granted they can it can be used on these characters that have control but again short range uh, certain situations against certain bosses uh the free life again she has control and it's really good especially since she has a 20 second cooldown instead of the 25 second cooldown on the other characters which means you're going to be able to do your uh support way more often with life throughout a a fight which is actually really really nice now another character that actually has it is cherno now cherno is actually really amazing with the support skill however it's really tricky to use it with her because whenever you use her support skill and you go you have to like use your support skill you're going to change the internal you're going to enter her invisible phase where you're going to actually guide her through an opponent apply the buff so the trick is you always have to be within close range and notice that i'm saying that for multiple characters that would use the navigator squad always having to be in close range can be quite difficult however with the four star acacia that is just not the case whether you're in short range close range her buff will always be applied when you have her you have these logistics equipped it is godly because she just throws out her daggers and she can hit opponents from far away which is really really nice and the way that you would want to build uh, Acacia, if you're going to be using her as a support character, is whenever you're equipping these logistics, they're going to have certain uh, bonuses on them. Now, the ones that you really want for her is going to be Skill Haste. Skill Haste is definitely going to be one of the best and attack we're going to talk about why attack is actually so important especially for acacia and skill haste these two are going to be the best for in slot on these logistics 
for her and then obviously if you're leveling up the third one chaos damage would be the best however i feel like a lot of players just aren't going to be at a point where they're really going to care about that and honestly guys knowing the fact that you got to spend 300 of those materials in order to buy three of these logistics i think whatever you get you might as well just be settled with and be happy with but really skill haste and attack are going to be the best now attack's going to be the best because the way this thing works is she's going to be doing chaos damage which is actually really really nice so obviously the more attack that she has the more damage that she does but also it's her weapon her weapon if you decide to use this character as a support character the best weapon in slot is going to be this weapon right here which is the warmth after rain or which is the prismatic igniter weapon because this thing whenever the sports skill is used deployed operative will gain a bonus attack equal to a certain percentage of the weapon user attack for 15 seconds now this is at tier three but even in tier one guys it's a massive difference what this thing does is it whenever you use your support skill you're going to give your main damage dealer a support buff so the more this weapon is leveled up the more attack that you have on acacia the more damage your actual damage dealer is going to do for 15 seconds so that's why on the logistics having that attack is going to make a big big difference as far as the damage that you can actually do but again i really wouldn't worry about it because it's just so difficult to get those materials to buy multiple logistics so whatever three you get whatever stats on them is going to be okay however skill haste is also going to be really important because when it comes to acacia she has a 25 second cooldown on this thing and whenever you have skill haste guys it's actually going to lower the cooldown uh, lower the cooldown of this so you're going to be able to use it more often which means you're going to have more buffs applied throughout a duration of an entire fight she is just an insane character and also her ultimate does give a damage buff but you're going to find guys at least from the testing that i've done that it's really better if you just don't even use it and just keep using the support buff with these logistics equipped on her however you still could do this if you want to try to get that extra 10 percent attack it does apply slow which is actually really really cool good and it does have control on so the logistics will still engage whenever you do her ultimate skill and the more alignment index you have the more of these neuronics that you have leveled up the better because you're actually going to be giving the full squad more initial u energy which is going to give your main damage dealer the ability to use their signature more often so she just really is an insane character to use as a support if you have her built this way she is just godly guys and she's going to be godly for hella for the behavior boss she's going to be insane for these bosses as well after the reset in the neural simulation against uh buys him because the slow effect actually debuffs him and also against the cerebus boss because slow effect actually works here as well and also chaos damage actually gets a buff whenever you're facing against these particular two bosses it actually is a disadvantage against hella and behavior but still very very useful as i'm going to show you guys right now so check this out guys i'm actually going to show you run against a 7,000 point neural connection uh hella boss with our chin zing right now we're using acacia and we're going to be using uh the other acacia four star acacia now watch this damage this is a 7,000 point neural connection boss watch this right this before took me almost five minutes but with the inclusion of the five star acacia, which decreases all resistances by 24%, and the four star acacia, where we're getting the increased damage taken by 14%, and also with the weapon buff, it is just massive how much difference in damage you're actually seeing. Look at the damage, guys. She's hitting 4,000 on one shot on an assault rifle, which is just nuts bonkers bonkers power for uh chin Zing, guys it's just nutty man now the caveat to having you know these two support characters is that you don't have a healer but because you can do so much damage so fast it really isn't a necessity at least against the hella boss right you're able to beat the boss fast enough to where you don't really need a healer it might take you a few times but man 
just crazy. Now I'll show you guys the build on Chan Zing. You're going to be pretty surprised uh, by her build considering how fast we're actually doing this gameplay, right? You're going to be pretty surprised, guys. Like, uh, it is ridiculous, okay? So we just about got this clear, right? We're going to go ahead and use our super. Now, in this run, I actually had the Twilight Squad on the 5-star Acacia, which doesn't benefit Chinsing at all. You'd actually be better to use the U Energy set that gives you energy. I think it's the Coffin Squad. I think, if I remember correctly, that would actually be better. So you could actually use the Signature or Ultimate more often with Chinsing. Now, look at the time that we were able to do this in, guys. Look at the time that we were able to clear this boss. It is ridiculous. Look at that. 7,000 points, right? 7,000 points. We were able to clear that boss. And my Chinzing is at level 72. She does have a tier 2 weapon. But she doesn't have any manifestations whatsoever. She has nothing. And her neuronics are not maxed out. Whenever you level up her neuronics, you actually get the extra damage on her alignment index by another 8 percent guys which is massive for this character so she doesn't even have a full build and still was able to do that clear in a minute and four seconds with the four star acacia with that logistics set equipped on her and this a weapon equipped on her along with the five star acacia and if you don't have the five star acacia which i know a lot of you don't you could always use just another healer on the team and just use the four star as a damage buffer because the buffs that she's giving with her weapon and the logistic is just massive it is just insane and also guys another tip if you level up the second uh logistic you'll actually increase your attack by that extra 20 percent, which is going to help you do a lot more damage and also buff up that weapon for your actual damage dealer on the team and I wanted to show you guys this video because you're going to be seeing some teams in the future where I'm going to be using the four-star Acacia quite often. And I just want to explain why you will be seeing her in a lot of these videos where we're going to be going against bosses because she is just so good because you just slow down the opponent, you apply that extra damage, you get this damage from the logistics set, you get the damage buff from the weapon, and even if you use your ultimate, you can still get it the extra increased attack, you can still get extra slow effect. Like she is just so good as a support character if you have her built in this way so guys let me know what you think about the four star acacia let me know what you think about this logistics set and the weapon that you can actually equip on her and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m two plus seven time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care